He now lives in Sydney and is studying to be an accountant. But before Bashir Yusufi was given a visa as a refugee, yeah. Australia's government held him for a year in prison-like detention centres. Yusufi was just 14 years old and alone when he came to Australia by boat. He coped in detention, he says, but saw other children who didn't. I saw kids who are uh, harmed themselves. I saw kids who are uh, who are cutting the uh, hands. It's not something that I could forget. We are damaging those kids. We are we are dead. We are damaging mentally, and we are damaging physically. Yusufi's experience is similar to many detailed in a human rights report on immigrant children detained by Australia's government. Our findings are deeply shocking. We found that all the medical evidence confirms that detention causes and compounds mental health disorders amongst children. More than a third of children detained require psychiatric support. There are allegations of sexual abuse against children. Many have self-harmed. In Canberra on Tuesday, officials from Australia's Immigration Department confirmed a 16-year-old girl in detention threw herself off a building last week. This is a shocking report. Only Australia, it says, automatically locks up immigrant children. Serious damage is being done to those it does. But shocking too has been the government's reaction to the report. This, it says, is a travesty. More children were in detention under the previous government than the current one. The report, the Prime Minister says, should acknowledge the government's success in stopping boats full of refugees from coming to Australia in the first place. This inquiry is a political stitch-up. It's a political stitch-up and it will be called the member out for by Isaacs. members of this government. I totally reject any suggestion that this report is a politicised exercise. The facts, frankly, speak for themselves and this report speaks for itself. Australia's policy towards refugees is deeply political. Elections have been won and lost on the issue. Children, though, are among those who feel its consequences. Andrew Thomas, Al Jazeera, Sydney.